Is this where divination class is? I didn't see ahead of time how bored I'd be in divination class. Bro, don't say that stuff, man. God, you get me in trouble, dude. Huh. Uh. So knowledgeable. Okay. Yeah, but I didn't get to actually hear what she was so knowledgeable about. Like, straight up just... I hope those assignments were challenging enough for you. Uh. Okay. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit... I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come, what do you see in your own future? Hmm... Hmm. I can't get rid of this feeling of a coming danger. I see. Know that such omens are not damning if they can at least prepare us. And you are preparing yourself even now. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Channel your magic towards your targets. So something I'm starting to notice with this game, every person who talks to you's got to move their hands like 50 times before they finish a sentence. I know that's exaggerating, but you see where I'm going with that. Oh god, I almost messed that up. I literally pressed the wrong button, but it still counted. It. Now, why not practice the new spell on the training dummy? Hey, uh... Hey, buddy, are you good? Yo! Yo, are you okay? Yo, somebody get- somebody get my man some help, he's entranced. <laughs> Alright. Uh... Well, he's doing, uh... Doing his stair-stepping, uh, exercise. Let's use this on the dummy, I guess? I think you have it. <laughs> oh, Hold on, give me a second, I wanna see if I can do this. Hold on. I don't think he's supposed to be there. Buddy, are you good? Okay. Uh, you have fun being in limbo over there. Knock, knock. Hello there. Nice to see you. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day, 
Yes, Lodgok. He's a friend. It seems as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lord Gok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. You seemed unfazed by Rookwood and Harlow the other day. They don't scare you. They're bullies. Plain and simple. Never tolerated them in my own life, and certainly won't tolerate them going after my friends. Don't misunderstand me. They're dangerous wizards and shouldn't be trifled with. They should, however, be confronted and reminded, whenever possible, that the rest of us have each other's backs. Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough, but between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lord Gok, Please, give him my best. Can I help you with something? Hello, Lord Gok. Sorona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Sorona trusts me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Sorona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. All right, Dale. Okay. I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Ertgot. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind see things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I found myself traveling with you to this tomb today. Uh, what is it that uh, is over there that I can't see, apparently? Hold on, there's a, there's a wolf that I gotta deal with, apparently. 
Sorry, I had to I had to deal with that right away. Alright, I'm coming. Ah, and there it is. The witch's tomb. Dreadful looking place, isn't it? You can't imagine. I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? Don't suppose you have any idea what could be waiting for me inside the tomb? Considering a dark witch was involved, I suppose there's a chance you may encounter the dark protectors, known as Inferi. The foul creatures thrive on darkness and the cold. Vanquish them with light, force, and, most effectively, fire. It seems Ranrock and Rookwood are conspiring. Why would that be? I had heard this. When the dark-hearted conspire, they seldom make their full intentions clear to one another. I can only speculate, but I imagine their alliance is uneasy and quite fragile. Let us hope that ours is less so. What about this helmet makes it so special? The helmet of Urtgot is an ancient and storied relic, forged during a time of unity among the goblin clans. It inspired greatness, that is, until it was no longer ours. Then it became something else. A symbol of what has been lost, of all that wizard kind has taken from us. Reclaiming it would mean a great deal to goblin kind and to Ranrock. He would be grateful to me should I return it. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. Revelio. Please, be careful. Uh, oh, you literally have to hold F to enter on this one. Interesting. Okay. Revelio. Ooh, yeah, there's lots of interesting stuff in here. It's sealed. No. Moths. Curious. Well, I've dealt with this one before. Lumos. Probably gotta just bring it over. Yeah. Revelio. Something special. Looks like. Bed. Just to the left. Scarf. Okay. Some money. Ah, there's gonna be this multiple be things. Too. Likely, I need to go further. Oh, hold on. Revelio. There's gonna be a third one, but I don't know where where you get the third Lumos. one at. Here's one. Here's two. That'll likely open the doors on this one. Akio. All right. Revelio. Anything else special here? Oh, I almost missed you. Lumos. Bring you with me. Do 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 do. I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Well, of course not, man. Oh, there it is. Stay back. 
Levioso. Confringo. Akia. Levioso. Confringo. Levioso. Ooh, that actually went really well. A lot better than I thought it would, at least. Very nice. Any other special things I gotta worry about here? Um. Hmm. Kind of used for you. Something like that, maybe? Yo. Some nice monies. Very cool. Revelio. Uh. Lumos. Obviously gotta bring you there. Second one. power it somehow it looks like it could be rotated. could be rotated huh what can I do that would rotate this this maybe maybe from this side No. Mm. If I had Flipendo, that might work. This has a moth imprinted on it. Same as the door. Yeah, I'm aware of that, but I don't know how you would... I don't know how you would Levioso. power it. Levioso won't work. Oh, hold Levioso. on. Put it in this thing? Wait, hold on. The hell did that do? What? Mm, okay. Interesting. All right. And so I open up that door. Where does this lead? Rebellion. Ooh, whoops. On a minute. Mmm. <sighs> Confringo. Need to get that platform closer. But how? Akio.
Repara? Maybe? Repara. No, it's uh not it's not that. Hmm. Repara. Accio. Rebellion. Accio. 